so I'm gonna make a couple biscuits, biscuit joints and show you uh, another idea I have. Okay, so you're getting ready to assemble. So you put your biscuit in, and maybe using multiple sizes and you realize, oh crap, that one is supposed to have a zero. Or, you go to put a biscuit in, you're gluing it up, you put the glue inside the slot, putting it together, and then you realize you put a 20 where you should have had a 10. Now you're trying to pull it out. Now if the glue's swelling, you're getting the other piece prepped, and you're trying to pull it out. You know, pliers, screwdriver, whatever, try to smack it out. Um, or, you're putting it together, you got your your right biscuit in, and you realize, oh crap, I forgot to put a uh, slot there. Those are common issues that you have when you're assembling with biscuits. You know, if you're doing uh, different size biscuits because of the structure your building needs them, it's easy to put the wrong one in the, in the incorrect space. And again, if it's glued in, um, it's harder to pull them out. And I've tried pliers, screwdrivers to get them out. You make one of these and uh, have that handy. It's very cheap. So what I want to show you is a little tool that I made for taking care of my biscuit issues when I put the wrong ones in. Let me show you. Alright, so I've got a biscuit in here. Let's say I put a little one in a 20 spot, right? Now it's going to be really hard to pull that bad boy out. So what I've made... This may look familiar to you. It's a little paint can lid opener. What I've done, I can pop it right out. Or, if I put a large one in, and you know I have glue in there, it's really hard to pull that out when it's swelling. I stick that in, and I can pop it out without marring a whole bunch of different things. Uh, breaking up biscuits, and then I'm trying to, you know, you break off part of the biscuit, now you got to try to gouge out the other piece. Like I said, it's a real clever little tool. It's, it's very simple. It's nothing uh, earth shattering. So you get these paint can lid openers at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, places like that, the big box stores. And then on my belt sander, all I did is I keep the uh, that little curve because you want that. But I just sand down the sides, belt sand the sides, and I'm uh, what I focused on is on the biscuit. The biscuit. Dimension here, top to bottom, is always the same. So this tool just needs to be a little bit thinner than the biscuit. 